Who's gonna win in this ultimate battle of the budget guitars? Will it be Glary or Donner? Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. Recently, I did reviews and demos on both of these guitars, the Glary and the Donner. And I had a lot of good things to say about both of these guitars. I was able to come up with some pretty cool jams on both of them. But when it comes down to it, who really makes the better budget guitar, Glary or Donner? So I'm gonna go through a list of pros and cons about each company, about each guitar, and then we're gonna decide, yeah, who really makes the best budget guitar? And if you wanna see the full video review demos that I did for each of these guitars, I'll put links in the description so you can see the whole thing, including the jams that I played on both of these guitars. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the Glary. So what are the pros to buying a Glary guitar? Well, first of all, they're extremely affordable. They have several models that are under $100. They've got a lot of options. They have strats, they've got LPs, they've got double cut models. They've got a whole bunch of different options for you to choose from. And now this one that I really like, which is a Strat with the two humbuckers without the pick guard. So yeah, lots of cool choices. One of the best thing about the Glary guitars is that these are great for modding because you can get them so cheap. So you get one of their guitars, you're spending maybe under a hundred bucks. You're changing out a bunch of stuff, changing the bridge, the pickups, the tuners, whatever. And even after you do all that stuff and you buy those extra parts that you're going to swap out, whatever, you've still got a guitar that's super affordable, but now even better. And you know what? A lot of people just like doing the modding because it's just so fun and enjoyable. Like me, I like doing it. Glary's are great for that. Now the next good thing, and I can say they finally got it, is the neck profile on this one. So I think this is like my fourth or fifth Glary, and finally on this one, they got the good, slim, like faster neck profile. So I'm really impressed by that. And I also like the medium jumbo frets. They don't have the really small like vintage style frets, which I don't like. So yeah, medium jumbo, good. And another thing that really impresses me about Glary is that they're, they're constantly making improvements to their instruments, making them better, you know, Fixing the features, like I said, the neck, they used to have really huge necks. Now they're much slimmer, much better. They're, they make improvements to the designs. Um, they upgrade on some of the parts to better parts, just constantly striving to make a better instrument for their customers. And over the past couple of years, I've seen huge improvements in the quality of their stuff. And they also have excellent customer service. I have seen numerous stories about people saying, they got the guitar, it was damaged, and then Glary immediately sent them another one for free. So really good customer service, which I think is very important in this day and age. Okay, so what about the cons of Glary? I mean, it can't be all good, can it? So even though I said like, you know, they've been making a lot of improvements and upgrading stuff, there's still relatively cheap instruments and the parts and the components, they're pretty cheap. The pickups especially, I mean, this is pretty much like the cheapest, low quality pickups that you can get. But, you know, to keep that price as low as it is, there's no other way to keep that price so low other than to really use like cheap parts and components. But again, that's why they're so great for modding and upgrading. I think every guitar that I've had from Glary, uh, the nut is always just like the cheap plastic nut. And the bridge is not usually great. Uh, if you watch the full video that I did on this guitar, you'll see where I talk about the fact that the little adjustment screws on the saddles were all stripped out and I ended up having to change the saddles. Which tells us guys that the build quality and the quality control is maybe not the greatest. It also had extremely dirty frets that I had to clean with steel wool. And as far as I can tell, they don't do any fret leveling. They just install the frets, no attempt to like level the frets for you at all. And also the consistency seems to vary quite a bit from guitar to guitar. So when you buy a Glary guitar, I mean, you never quite know if like, is it gonna need just like a little bit of a setup or a lot of setup like this one required. And the last thing that I'll say about the Glary is that these, I mean, they kind of market them as beginner guitars, but I don't think they're for beginners because they can require quite a bit of setup and maybe changing parts and doing thing, things that just 
beginners are not gonna know how to do, so I don't think these are really good for beginners. All right, let's talk about the Donner now. The pros, well, they're super affordable, just like the Glaries. They're not quite as cheap as the Glaries, a little bit more money, but very affordable, and they've got several models under $200. They also have a lot of options to choose from. Strap models, tellies, LPs, hollow bodies, and they recently introduced, which is really exciting to me, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm hoping to sometime in the near future, they just introduced a new 24 fret model with two humbuckers and a hard tail. Like, wow, the perfect guitar for me, right? Now, unlike the Glary stuff, the Donner stuff has much better quality in the parts and components, including the pickups, the bridge, the string trees, even the nut. This is not like a cheap plastic nut. This is a, a simulated bone nut, so a lot better. And also, the setup is way better. This thing was basically ready to play like out of the box. All I had to do was pretty much just tune it up. And I think maybe I made some minor adjustments on a couple of the saddles to like maybe adjust the action just a tiny bit. But that's super easy to do. I didn't have to clean the frets. I didn't have to shim the neck. I didn't have to replace any parts on it. It was pretty much good to go. And that can be said about like all four Donner guitars that I've had. Okay, what else? Well, the neck. The neck is really nice. Really good profile, really good finish on the neck. Doesn't have that baseball bat chunky neck that I hate. Um, good fret work. They've actually done at least a rudimentary leveling of the frets, so I can get pretty low action on this, and it's not even necessary to level the frets. So yeah, good neck and very good fretwork. And also like Glary, they're constantly making improvements to the guitars, introducing new models, new options on the guitars, different colors, different features, really cool stuff. And they also have excellent customer service, very responsive, very helpful when there's an issue, great customer service. Now unlike the Glary's, I would say the Donner is great for any beginner, any person who's never even picked up a guitar before, because like I said, they're pretty much ready to play like right out of the box. Very little, if any, adjustments are required. Just tune it up, ready to go. So yeah, I would recommend this for anybody. Beginner, intermediate, seasoned players, anybody. Okay, so I had a lot of good things to say about the Donner stuff, so are there any cons? Not a whole lot. Um, I do have to say, I don't like the headstock shape. I mean, that's not really a, like a con as far as the quality of the guitar, but I just don't think it looks very cool. I definitely think the glary headstock shape is better or looks better. And I'm not really a huge fan of the logo either. Although they did change this logo. This is the second logo. The first one was even worse. It's, it's definitely, um, an improvement, a step up, but I'm still not a huge fan of the logo. And unlike Glary, they don't currently offer a Strat model without the pick guard, right? The other Glary that I showed you, the blue one, it's a Strat, no pick guard, two humbuckers. Donner does not have a model like that. Although, like I did say, they've got that new 24 fret model with the hardtail and the two humbuckers. All right, guys, so bottom line, yeah. Donner far exceeds anything Glary is doing as far as quality. Will it stay like that forever? Who knows, because like I said, both companies are constantly making improvements, adding new stuff, new features, new models. So I really think both companies are gonna be here, they're here to stay, and uh, they're just gonna get better and better. But for right now, Donner is the clear winner. And I can say that with 100% certainty because I've had four Donner guitars and four Glary guitars. So in the end, guys, uh, I'm a big fan of both companies. I like Donner, I like Glary, and I'm really excited to see what these guys are gonna be putting out and coming up with over the next couple of years. So let me know in the comments, do you have any experience with Glary or Donner or both? What did you think about them? How did you like the guitars or not like them? Definitely let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <music>